What's good, Chop Shop? It's your boy, Artistic Beats. I'm putting together a little quick tutorial on how I chop my samples in FL Studio. So as you can see here in my chops folder, down here, I have the sample that I want to chop. I'm going to open it and edit it in Audio Editor, which opens up Edison. It's my chop. Once I decided what I want to chop up to make for a beat, I start, you know, highlighting the pieces that I want to hear by themselves and loop them. Okay, and this piece here. So, you know, once I start picking the pieces that I want, I'll go to here and I'll do marker. You know, hit one. Name them how you choose. So I'm pretty much selecting what I want. This is pretty much how I chop my samples individually. There you have it, I have my 12 pieces. Okay, now that I have all my 12 pieces, now I want to dump them into the slicer. So what I'm going to do is go to my sampler, right click, replace, slicer. I'm going to highlight all my pit chops. I'm going to drag them into the slicer. Now once they're all dragged into the slicer, same 12 chops I made, every key I hit. In a slicer, so now I can manipulate them and arrange them however I want when I'm making my beats. If you have any questions or comments, or would like to know more on chopping samples or more on FL Studio, just you know, leave me a a like, comment, inbox me. <laughs> Don't be scared. Just ask me. I'll do my best to show you from my knowledge in FL Studio how to get things rolling when it comes to making a beat. And I hope this was helpful. So shout out to Chop Shop. Thank you all.